Bodies, Ken Bods. I'm back with another video. I'm back, bitches. I hope everybody's having a great week. Sorry, I got all my, what's that called, taco meat? My chest hair, I got all my chest hair out. I need to like zip this hoodie up because is that not? Not out here advertising nothing. <laughs> I got my peppermint tea going this morning. And you already know I got a blunt road. And I'm back because I ain't scared of y'all mother. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. <laughs> so today I wanted to jump on here today because I got some interesting news yesterday. By the time you see this video, it'll be a few days after, but it doesn't really matter. First of all, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Welcome back, motherfuckers. If you haven't already rolled up, make sure you go roll up now. Got a nice fat blunt right here. Make sure you guys go roll up, pause the video and come back, but I'm gonna keep the video going. Light up. I'm using a crackhead lighter today because I, for some reason, I can't find any of the Bix that I own. Like, so many Bix, so many different colors, so many different sizes, and this is all I can find to do this video. So, whatever. A lighter is a lighter at this point, child. Um, So the other day, well yesterday, um, while I was sleeping, I got a phone call, probably around like 11 or 12, and it was the doctor's office calling me to let me know that I just got approval for my back surgery. Yay! So the reason I'm super excited about that is because, as you guys know, I hurt my knee and my back um, a little while ago at work, and I've been doing physical therapy for the last like two, three years, trying to just kind of get some normal, normal life back, trying to get some strength and, and some healing going on. Because of the way things were damaged, and because of how the, and because of the extent of the damage, um, physical therapy ain't cutting it. And physical therapy ain't doing shit. I go because I'm told that I need to go. I, I go because I'm being asked to go. I go because it's a it's just a requirement of me. But my personal opinion on like how my body has been responding and just like the 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 process, I don't feel like it's done too much. Um, I feel like it is just kind of helping preserve what's happening in the meantime, but I don't think it's he like healing, if that makes any sense. So she called me yesterday, and the reason that I'm excited about it is because I thought that they were going to say no to my back surgery, to be honest with you, because the accident at my job happened in 2019, and I've been doing a lot of epidurals. I got like two epidurals in my back. I've got, I've done, I've been doing a lot of physical therapy. Just, I'm trying to, I've been trying to exhaust all my options. Oh, sleep fix. <laughs> body. So I've been trying to exhaust all my options um, so that I wouldn't have to do anything more invasive because after my knee surgery I kind of just wanted to never have surgery again in my life but unfortunately I'm, I am going to have to get a knee transplant in the future because of this accident at my job. So I'm going to have to get a knee transplant and that really sucks but we're talking about right now right? <laughs> So yeah, they're going to, well they approved my surgery, and basically what that means is because I got hurt at my job, I think workers' compensation is covering all my medical bills. I'm not really sure how this is working, but um, my attorneys seem to know what's going on, and that's all that matters. It's a lot to like think about and to take in, trust me, it's a lot. I'm going to be having surgery in New Jersey though. That's, so when we were on the phone and she was like, oh, Hudson Yards or whatever the hell um, the hospital is called. I was like, what? I clearly live in the Bronx, New York. I was very upset. I e immediately I was like angry when she said New Jersey, but she then followed up with they'll be providing transportation. I mean, the reality is, anywhere I go in New York City. It's going to, it, it, it just takes a while to get there, no matter what it is. Whether I'm having surgery in Queens, whether I'm having surgery in the Bronx, unless it's somewhere around the corner or, or a close proximity hospital, it's gonna take a few minutes to get there either way. And if you're driving to and from a place, it doesn't seem as long, um, so whatever. They're gonna come pick me up on the, I guess, but the, what's interesting is I'm gonna have to go to the hospital a few times because I think I'm gonna be doing my pre-op stuff there too, like your Corona, um, your COVID-19 test. You have to make sure that you're, you test negative to be able to like have surgery, and then you like 
have all these other stuff. You have to get like blood work and all this other shit before you have surgery. They have to make sure you're healthy enough for the for the anesthesia and the procedure. So I get it. It makes sense. I just hate that I have to travel back and forth to and from Jersey to have surgery. The good part is they'll be they'll be providing transportation. So surgery date has been set for June 17th, and the reason I have it then is because my birthday is May 13th, Fitz's birthday is May 15th, and then my best friend's birthday is May 10th, and we're supposed to be <laughs> celebrating together, and because I've dealt with the pain so much, and I know, <coughs> like right now I'm on pain medication, I'm on like some over-the-counter stuff, but I'm on a lot of it, so I'm able to like move around and do little things, but I try not to take too much of it because I know like the impact it can have on my kidney and my like liver and all of that kind of stuff long-term, like th these medications definitely like will affect you um whether it's just tylenol motrin advil whatever you're taking like you know what i mean like too much of anything is never a good thing <laughs> i'm just gonna do what i have to do because the reality is like i just want to get better right i want to be a hundred percent better i want to be back to my job i want to be back to my life i want to be back to my everything um and what i'm going through right now is very emotional and it's very depressing <laughs> i you know what I mean? I just do my best to, to kind of make it through every day, honestly. So that's the big news, guys. I just got approved for my back surgery. And that's going to be happening in June. <coughs> yeah. Um... It's a few months away, but I'm not really worried about it, in all honesty. I'm, I'm, I know that I'll be fine, and I know I need it to get it done, or else I wouldn't do it. If I didn't feel like I needed to have the surgery, and if it, if it wasn't going to help, I wouldn't do it. So, I'm doing it. Wish me luck, pray with me, smoke with me, laugh with me, cry with me. Just be here for me. Please. <laughs> um, Alright, so I'm going to wrap this video up, and... Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. When it's me, it's me. And I'll be back with another video. Mwah! Bye, guys.